Okay, let's start. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Before we begin our show tonight, let us begin with a prayer. Let us now put ourselves in the holy presence of God. In nomine Patris, et Fili, et Spiriti Sancti. Amen. So our fellow HNI members and everyone, here now is the prayer for the protection for Hans Inclusion PH. God our Father, we implore you to ask for the enlightenment and rescue, a repentant success of the organization Hands in Inclusion Filipinas. We ask for the repentance of the group from the false judgments of other people, including its former members. Rescue us from false sense of power and deliver us from the lesson of revenge that comes from the devil. Keep us in putting God first whatever is the religion of their core team, including the founder, while being inclusive to all those who are in need of inclusion, especially persons with disabilities, LGBTQI+, people confused with their gender, ethnic groups, and poorest of the poor whom you also love. Help us to stop ourselves from manipulation of other people and resorting to unjust grudge, conspiracy, and violence, which might affect the people they are trying to serve. We beg for its founder and his core team to be enlightened to see the lies behind the false doctrines and impure and violent motives of the false accusations we make and believe, and open the eyes to the truth of the pride that he holds. Help us humble ourselves, O Lord. Help us to realize that fear, envy, anger, and unforgiveness comes from Satan, and he may he stop whatever pride that he is holding. Please allow us to know ourselves a child of God. We also pray for those people who are blamed by hands inclusion Filipinas to repent from the sins they are guilty of without resorting or believing in any false accusations made by either them or any enemy they encounter. Forgive us from our accusations in any form and from all the wrong timings. In your eyes, the organization did. This we ask in your name. Amen. Our Lady, help of the sick, pray mm -hmm. for us. St. Joseph, pray for us. St. Rock, pray for us. St. Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. Saint Pedro Alonso, pray for us. Saint Claire of Montefalco, pray for us. Saint John the Baptist, pray for us. Our Lady, help of all Christians, intercede for us. Saint Monica, pray for us and our family and friends. Saint Augustine, pray for us and our family and our friends. Saint Michael the Archangel. Saint Benedict. Pope St. Pius X and Pope St. John Paul II, rescue us from our unintended wrongdoings. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy and change the heart of everyone. All organizations and all the people who formerly work with the organization who made terrible mistakes, and those the people who took part in a conspiracy to falsely accuse anyone and hands in a future. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us from our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are those amongst three men, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in, in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Apostles Creed, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, 
who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. In nomine Patris, et Fili, et Spiriti Santi. Amen. The, the words we picked up on him to do COVID-19, this is the Ang mga pananaw at opinyon ng pag-uulat ng mag-uulat sa programang ito ay hindi ang pangunahing posisyon o payag ng pamunuan ng organisasyon ito. The views and opinions expressed in this live report are those of the presenter and do not necessarily reflect the official policy or position of the, the management of this organization. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Editorial. Today is Monday, April 12, 2021. I'm your host, Carlos Miguel Kanahashi, and we're broadcasting simultaneously on the new Incuradia Facebook page and the Hands and Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel. We will begin our show with our daily verse for today. From 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 24. No one should seek their own good but the good of others. We will start our topic proper in just a moment, and we will have our commercials first. We will be back after these. Now this. <laughs>
Okay, welcome back to editorial. This evening, uh, they will discuss about cultural relativism. Cultures around the world. On June every year, Spain celebrates the El Colacho, a festival in Castilla de Murcia in Spain. A man representing a devil jumps over the babies. In the U.S., having an eye contact shows you are interested in the topic you're discussing with. In other cultures, eye contact may mean you're interested to the person or you hate the person. Cultural relativism is the view that moral or ethical systems which vary from culture to culture are all equally valid and no one system is really better than any other. It's the view that all beliefs, customs, and ethics are relative to the individual within his own social context. Right and wrong are culture-specific. Different cultures have different moral codes. Often it's used as a key to understanding morality. Proponents argue that there is not a universal truth in ethics. There are only the various cultural codes and nothing more. And the customs of different societies is all that exists. The argument, theory on nature of, morta of morality. Argument from facts about differences between cultural outlooks to making conclusions about the status of morality. Example, different cultures have different moral codes. There are there no objective truth in morality. Right and wrong are only matters of opinion and opinions vary from culture to culture. And the argument is that wrong acts are wrong. Acts that accord with the norms of the agent's culture are right. Ethnocentrism is the view that one particular ethnic group is somehow superior to all others. The word ethnocentrism derives from the Greek word ethnos, meaning nation or people, and the English word center. A common, a common idiom for ethnocentrism is tunnel vision. In this context, ethnocentrism is the view that a particular ethnic group's system of beliefs and values is morally superior to all others. What are the cultural identities as Filipinos? According to UNESCO, the perception leads to values and leads to expressions and skills. The whole complex of distinctive spiritual, material, intellectual, and emotional features that characterize a society or social group, it includes not only the arts and letters, but also modes of life, the fundamental rights of the human being, value systems, traditions, and beliefs. The strengths and weaknesses of Filipino character are the following. Family and home environment, social environment, culture and language, history, the educational system, religion and economic environment, leadership and role models, and mass media. Family and home environment. High nurturance. A Filipino child grows up in an atmosphere of love and affection. Providing the children with opportunity, needs, and support to pursue their goals. Low independence training, overprotection. Some parents act on their own needs for power and use control and coercion to ensure that they remain the dominant forces in their ch children's lives. Low discipline are attempts to maintain discipline come in, in the form of many no's and don'ts. Some no comparison among siblings also are used by mothers to control their children. Social environment, characterized by feudal structure with great gaps between the rich minority and poor majority. Social structures and social systems are consist of interpersonal religious and community interaction. Culture and language, language and culture cannot be separated. Language is vital to understanding our unique cultural perspectives. Language is a tool that is used to explore and experience our cultures and the perspectives that are embedded in our cultures and that leads to con condescending languages and of course the language barrier. History. Filipinos are a product of a rich history with several layers of colonial influences which is regarded by many as the source of Filipinos' lack of nationalism wherein colonial mentality was instilled due to Western indoctrination or important products. Educational system. Lack of high quality local textbooks and dependence on foreign sources and textbooks, particularly the higher school levels, have influenced how Filipino adults accept a neo colonial education. Conservative teachers have developed passivity and conformity among the students. 
Religion is the largest influence of Filipinos in the of the attitude of being optimistic and accepting life's hardships. We regard highly negative occurrences in life as kung gusto ng Diyos, itong mangyari, tanggapin ka na lang. Economic Environment Filipino trades are rooted in their source of living. Agriculture, thus their language, is largely influenced by agriculture. Poverty is another major factor which has become an excuse to families committing petty crimes. Well, mass media. Most common forms are medium are newspapers, television, radio, and mobile phones. Escapist culture, example, the soap operas and the telenovelas. In the Philippines, we produce telenovelas like Ang Provinciano, Encantadia, Make It With You, On the Wings of Love. We also have 100 Days to Heaven. We also have Kambal Karibal. We also have the uh, love stories like Precious Heart Romances Presents. We also have uh, locally produced uh, TV shows like uh, 24 Horas, TV Patrol, One Balita Pilipinas, Tutok Trece. We also have uh, regional newscasts like uh, Balitang Amyanan, Balitang Bisdak. We also have One Mindanao and Balitang Bicolandia. And, and, and also, we have the morning shows on GMA Regional TV. We have At Home with GMA Regional TV. And I think uh, there's a... And, and, oh, and there's more. And of course, mga local newscasts are examples of mass media. And also, example also aside from this, another example for mass media is that Except in the provinces, ABS-CBN is the only source of information in the provinces because of the difficulty of using mobile data in remote areas, and they relied on the regional versions of TV Patrol. And also, but then we only rely on GMA because we have... Um, Regional newscasts like Balitang Amyanan, Balitang Bisdak, One Mindanao, One Western Visayas, Balitang Bicolandia. And also we have, I think there's another, uh, I think there is um, another a regional newscast for, um, for what the, I think there is, um, in one Mindanao is for Mindanao, one Western Visayas is for Western Visayas, Balitan Bisdak for Central and Eastern Visayas, Balitan Bicolan is for Bicol, Balitan Amyanan is for Northern, Northern and Central Luzon. Um, and also, uh, we also have other examples of mass media like Philippine Star, Philippine Daily Inquirer, we also have Jamie News Online, ABS-CBN News Online. We also have uh, Rappler. We, we also have a lot of sites for mass media. And mass media is mostly commonly owned by the, by, by the private sector and the public sector. The private sector are led by the Gozons, the Jimenez, the Duavits. The Lopez family, Pangilinan. We also have, and for the part, and for the public sector, which is the government, we have the People's Television Network, the TV station under the PCOO. We also have the Philippine Broadcasting Service, which is also under the government. Also, we also have a uh, uh, radio like. DZMM, DZBB, DZRH, Action Radio, Sunshine Radio, Radio Aguila. We also have um, 
FM, like Love Radio, Yes the Best, Radio Cinco, Magic. We also have IFM. Uh, we also have uh, Barangay FM stations, Home Radio. We also have RJ FM, and we have also the the former MOR, which is under ABS-CBN, Star FM, and Energy FM stations. These are examples of radio. Mobile phones, especially with the use of data, so that we can tune into any of our favorite shows, news, and information. An example of this is, um, say, uh, example is, uh, I, someone commented me, it's Benjamin Molina. He's before, he used to be involved in the mass media industry. He's a radio DJ in one of the radio stations in Pangasinan, in Ordaneta City. Uh, and also, I'm also an expert in this because mass media is also very, it's also my favorite because of radio and television. And also, we, aside from mass media, we also have imported uh, like the Korean novellas, which are commonly broadcast in the Philippines, uh, which are broadcast on ABS-CBN and JMA Network. But because of the shutdown of ABS-CBN last May 5, last year due to the cease and desist order, we only have JMA and TV5 as, uh, as the two major TV networks in the country. But ABS-CBN be became a content provider with the launch of Kapamilya Channel, A to Z Channel 11, and some selected ABS-CBN shows on TV5. And also, mass media example is cable. Cable television, I think, started in the 1960s with new book cable vision, which are founded by the American expats in Baguio. We also have, uh, it is also then followed by Jun Mag... Uh, the... It's a one Magsay Sai Jr., the one established a cable system in Sambales called Color View Cable TV. And all, and that was inspired from the one that was by the first cable system in Baguio, which are which are mostly owned by the American foreigners or expats in Baguio, and also the Sining Makulay, which is one of the the government owned cable provider, which are mostly targeting to elite and famous hotels in in the country. And later, after this, after after 21 years of uh, of uh, the government, of the strict government, we have also Sky Cable, the first provider in the Philippines, came in 1992, and then the first satellite provider, Satellite TV, came to the Philippines in 2001 with Dream Satellite TV. After Dream, we have Signal, GSAT, Satellite, and Sky Direct. But Dream Satellite TV left the air on December 31, 2017 due to bankruptcy. Sky Direct went off the air on June 30, 2020 due to the expiration of the franchise of, AB, of Sky Cable Corporation and, and ABS-CBN. And also... We also have um, the escapist culture. We have the soap operas, telenovelas, love stories. <laughs> and of course, um, and the television started in the Philippines in 1953 with the launch of ABS-CBN. And then to be followed by JMA Network in 1961. ABC5 came to exist in 1960 as the second TV network. And then the other broadcasters came in. But when the Philippines was under an authoritarian rule in 1972, only the government-owned mass media is, re is, only, is allowed. Like Channel 9, Channel 2, which is the Banahaw, RPN, or... 
under the under Benedicto and Channel 4, which is family used by ABS, is now a government-owned station. Other broadcasters came to exist after 1986. And now we are now shifting to digital TV. ISDBT was introduced in the Philippines in the in 2010. ABS CBN is the first broadcaster to use the ISDBT platform with the launch of TV Plus in 2015, although it was off the air in May 5, 2020, and on June 30, 2020. Also, GMA recently adopted, uh, uh, is the next broadcaster to adopt digital TV with the news of Afford the Box, which is similar to TV Plus, but it's only for free to air channels. And also, we have uh, the, the, the um, pinakamalakas na TV5 digital signal sa NCR, Batangas, and Pampanga. And also, mass media, television, and radio are the sources of information. We have the right to inform. We have the right to educate and to entertain. The right to, to show, to, to be part of a civilized society. And also, we believe that television and radio promotes our social and cultural environment in the country. Leadership. Leadership is uh, when they roll, when Filipinos look to leaders and role models as an all-in-one hero. The essence of this is they're always easily forgiven due to their stature as a leader. And they are easily forgiven by our society due to their stature Thank you. as a leader. And Filipinos reverence by the religion of forgiving. What could be done? A sense of patriotism and national pride. A genuine love to being a Filipino. A sense of the common good. Ability to look beyond selfish interests and a sense of justice in case of violation of the law. A sense of integrity and accountability. The values and habits of discipline and hard work and the value of habits of self-reflection and analysis. The three Minina values are the love to connect, like to experience the multi-dimensional fullness of life and highly participatory. We love to connect. We are hardly alone. We belong to a group and being with them when they eat, sleep, work, travel, pray, or celebrate. They like to feel connected to the world, to God and nature, but most of all, to people. We hardly eat, eat alone. Invites you to a party like uh, family reunions, the pabalot, paluto, and the titas, and our extended family members during family reunions. Because the family is the basic unit of Filipino culture. The kultura ng pananahan, or the pananahan, pananahanan. We have to remember the ancestral house of the family as a source of unity and connectedness. My space is your space. In Western cultures, guests are allowed to move only within the confines of the living room, which leads to the open house. In Filipino culture, gate guests can roam anywhere inside or outside the house. Even you can use the bedrooms. Or you can use the the, the, oil, the toilet room of the house, of the guest house that you're in. Maximalism. The common Filipino is a maximalist. Philip of every available space with forms and things. It space of an expressive exuberance deeply rooted in emotional sensitivity and the strong urge to connect. In summary, knowledge of other cultures is an important trait to possess in any engagement. Tolerance to ethics and knowledge of a culture will provide a wider perspective in the concept of right and wrong of a society or culture. Let us move on to the other announcements related to our show. Okay. 
Here are the sales at the Hands and Inclusion online shop. The t-shirts, the white color Hands and Inclusion t-shirts. Uh, white is 430 pesos. Egypt is 440 pesos. Large is 450 pesos. And X is 460 pesos with additional 50 pesos with text at the back. Black color Hands and Inclusion t-shirts. Small is 450 pesos. Egypt is 460 pesos. Large is 470 pesos and excess is 480 pesos and additional 50 pesos with take the back. The hands and inclusion tote bags. The small size is 220 pesos. Medium is 240 pesos. Large is 260 pesos with additional 50 pesos with text at the back. For the hands and inclusion stickers, we include RES 250 pesos. Iniiwi ko ang mga Pinoy BWDs is 150 pesos. And this one is currently out of stock, and the inclusion is 150 pesos. Our mode of payments are GCash and our PayMaya on this number flash in your screen. 0917-701-9684. Again, that's 0917-701-9684. It will deliver to you via TokTok, Lalamove, GoGo Express, Grab, Mr. Speedy Philippines, and LBC. TokTok, Lalamove, GoGo Express, Grab, and Mr. Speedy are available in areas under the NCR Plus bubble, NCR, Cavite, Rizal, Laguna, and Bulacan. LBC will also be done for the rest of the country. For the donations for hands in inclusion, you may do so. You can donate for hands in inclusion regardless, no matter what. It doesn't really matter if the amount is smaller or larger. Then you may do so via GCash and your PayMaya on this number flash in your screen, 0917-701-9684. Again, that's 0917019684. For those who donated, thank you for your generosity and for your support to Hands and Inclusion. On April 24, 2021, at 2 p.m. to 4 p.m., Hands and Inclusion will have our fourth webinar called when Quentong Autismo. This, the essence of this is that Hands and Inclusion continues to share the stories of persons with disabilities in the country and in the world as well. And to fulfill our mission and vision, we will share the stories and testimonials of persons with autism. This will be held on Saturday, April 24, 2021, at 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. on the Facebook page of Hands and Inclusion. Details about this webinar will be posted on the Facebook page of Hands and Inclusion. So, tune for this. On May, we'll be having the in, in, Inclu Training Computer Basics. This updates will be given by May and within this month on the Facebook page of Hanson Inclusion. The Tambayan, an introduction to Best Buddies Philippines. Uh, this will be held on April 28, 7 p.m. If you want to register, go to the Zoom link site for details. This is for an open house for Best Body Space. Okay. You want to follow Hans and Inclusion on social media? Well, you can follow this organization on social media. You may follow, well, you may follow us on Facebook, Hans and Inclusion PH, Instagram, Hans and Inclusion PH, Kumo, HNI Philippines, and subscribe to our official YouTube channel, Hans and Inclusion Philippines. In addition, you may want to follow Inclu Radio, Inclu Sport, Inclu Nian Online Shop, and Inclu Gaming on Face, the online shop, and the Inclu Gaming on Facebook and the Inclu Gaming YouTube channel. For those, thank you for your contribution. And also, I would like to urge you guys to. Uh, wait. Wrong file. Here is our new Inclu Facebook page. So search Inclu Radio PH on Facebook. For those who did this, thank you for your support to the new Inclu Radio Facebook page. It's now the time for our shout outs and greetings. First, uh, to Benjamin Molina, uh, good after, uh, good evening po, thank you for watching. To Cedric Mariano, good evening po, thank you for watching. 
Uh, those are celebrating their birthdays today. Nina Reyes, Tamara, Alexandra P., Maya Regalado, Andres Barilea, and Nelly J. Vihasa. Happy birthday to those uh, people that, that I mentioned. To Joy, if you're, kung nanonood ka, um, Joy Vihasa, uh, Nina, Tamara, Maya, and Andres Barilea, maligayang bati sa inyo. And expect the more birthdays to come. And also to my family, good evening. Hi! Nagpasalamat ako sa Hands in Inclusion, kay Roylan, Billy, Cedric, Asher, Danmar, Christian, Vel, uh, to uh, uh, Marianne, Chris, Jade, Melvin, Johaira, TJ Parmarejo, and also, uh, and the others. And also to Best Buddies Philippines, to Michelle Aventado, to Gia Aventado, thank you, and uh, to to my friends at Decada 2010 Facebook group, to Benjamin Molina, Mark Spencer Conception, Diane Aguilar, Shane Progrosa, Christoph, Christopher, and to others, thank you, and uh, and also to uh, Ma'am Veronica, Miss Veronica, Gloria Antrefia, Hendrik, Romado, and Rita, welcome to Hands in Inclusion, and uh, also to my friends in Ateneo Speed, Special Olympics, uh, and also in the Psychological Society of Assumption. Thank you. Also to my high school and college friends. Good evening, Dean. Also to my other people in Angat. Thank you. And also, uh, Mam Chiki. Thank you. And also, and also, uh, To those who are watching, it may be a good morning, good afternoon, or good evening wherever you are in the world. Sana nasa mabuting kagaya ninyo. If not, you may use this time to improve your well-being as well. And also, this year, Hands in Inclusion is celebrating our fourth anniversary with the team Bagong Tapang Sawan Inclusion Nation. Hansen Inclusion is a community of volunteers that helps persons with disabilities in our country and in the world as well. We continue to share our stories as persons with disabilities and as advocates as well. Hansen Inclusion was founded by Roylan Marlang, a self-advocate with autism from Pasay City and a Benilgen alumni. It was founded on March 8, 2017. This initiative was started as Inclusion in Action. And then later, uh, it, Inclusion is the new name on June of 2017, and that's the name that we are using in its present day. All the achievements that we have done for the past four years of the existence of Hanson Inclusion, such as the, the, um, the Inclusion Ako campaign, the logo of Hansen Inclusion in 2018, uh, which symbolizes Filipino unity. We also have the participation of Hansen Inclusion in webinars and seminars and other activities such as the Angels Walk for Autism, uh, Angels Walk for Autism, the Best Bodies Menued Prom, the Spread the Word virtual uh, event, so webinars of Ateneo Speed and the Psychological Society of Assumption. We also have the um, partnerships with other PWD organizations like uh, Autism Strong, Project Inclusion, 
and uh, and soon we'll expect more PWD organizations that will be partnering with us. Also, we also have the the alam namin po the commercials alam namin po yun and one inclusion forever. We also have the seminars and webinars such as the Kabagong Autismo in the Loa Puti Sa Siglo, Autism Testimonials, Connecting with Down Syndrome, and the Usaping Inclusion para sa Kababaihan. And also, we have other events such as the Teaming Inclusion Stay at Home Concert. We also have interviews on the Inclusive Report on June and July last year. We have Inclunihan. We also have three songs last year, One Inclusion Nation, One Inclusion Forever, and the Tining ng Mga Nawalan, Hands in Inclusion version. We also have uh, other events, are the, uh, the current logo of Hands in Inclusion was designed by Mike Ambion. We also have the opening of the Hands in Inclusion online shop in 2019. We also have the relaunch of Hands in Inclusion in the Rotary Club of Makati event, the Bazaar in Benilde, oh, wow. where the members of Anson Inclusion were there during the Deaf Awareness Month in celebration of the Deaf Awareness Month in November at that time when it was a bazaar in Ryland's Alma Mater, which is St. Benilde. We also have the um, Gifts from the Hands in Inclusion Management to Yorme Isco of Manila. We also have the uh, a lot of events related to Hands in Inclusion, like the appearance of Dr. Francis Dimalanta in Bawal Jets Mental on Itbulaga on GMA. We also have the wedding of Bel Baria and David Mitchell in South Carolina in America. And the event that you will never forget is this. Nakaranas kami ng pansamantalang pagsasaraan noong June 6, 2020. Hindi kami nawala ng pag-asa at biyaya. Hands in Inclusion will continue to serve the people. Patuloy tayo magiling kod mga ka-HNI. Hands in Inclusion will continue to serve persons with disabilities. And of course, to share stories as well. So the best gift for us in this fourth anniversary of Hands in Inclusion is that I would like to appeal to the current and former members of Hands in Inclusion Philippines to observe proper decorum so that we will not have any problems. Let us continue to have a good example. We must learn how to show good attitude and show to be professional and also to show our cooperation and our attention to others. It's very important because we will be appreciated if we cooperate and of course to and also to show or uh, be considerate to other people. I and also we must also do we um uh, act like a neutral person as what Billy said. And of course maging isang mabuting halimbawa tayo. Dapat systematic tayo. At ito ay ginagawa para magiging mapayapa at maayos tayo ng matagal. Bukod pa dito sa mga nakikipanood sa atin, bukod po sa ating pasensya at pangunawa, hiniling namin ang inyong tulong at panalangin sa anumang rehilyo ninyo na sana bumalik ang hands in inclusion sa panghinaharap. Bilang isang formal na organisasyon, hiniling mo ninyo ito sa Panginoon. At sana magkaroon tayo ng bagong simula sa ating organisasyon. To those of you guys watching, regarding, uh, apart from your patience and understanding, 
We need your help and prayers for the anticipated return of Hansen Inclusion Philippines in the future as a formal organization. Expect a new start and a brand new start in Hansen Inclusion. And, and Hansen Inclusion, we continue to put God first, truth first, people first, and of course, to show our love and support to each other and to promote our culture as we live in this civilized society. H and I, God first. At ito ang bagong tapang sa One Inclusion Nation ngayong 2021. And also, um, And also, also, I would like also to thank uh, Project Inclusion, Autism Strong Philippines, Association for Adults with Autism Philippines, Best Bodies. We also have uh, Autism Society Philippines and other, and other PWD organizations for our support. And other, for those who did this, and so, uh, rather, uh, salamat po. Salamat po sa inyong pagsusuport sa amin sa nakalipas na ikaapat na taon yung naka, ikaapat na taon na anniversary ng Hands in Inclusion. At sana at sana magkaroon tayo ng bagong buhay at bagong simula. Nagpasalamat kami sa poong may kapal na sana nagbigyan kami ng bagong buhay at bagong simula sa kabila ng shot ng kaapat na anibersaryo ng Hands in Inclusion. Magtatagumpay tayo. Siyempre, magtatagumpay tayong lahat. Okay. And uh, that was the time for editorial for for Monday, April 12, 2021. On behalf of the New Inku Radio and Anthony Inclusion Philippines, I'm your host, Carlos Miguel Kanahashi. I will be back again on Wednesday at 5.30 p.m. for editorial. Thank you. Good night. May the Almighty God bless us all. Pagpalain na watayo ng poong may kapal. Ngayong ikaapat na anibersaryo, may bagong tapang sa One Inclusion Nation. We include our guests. We at Anson Inclusion include us and include each other. One Inclusion forever. H&I, God first. Thank you. Good night. Bye for now. Paalam na po. Maraming salamat. At magandang gabi po sa ating lahat at pabuhay. Bye-bye. Oh, my God.